What's going on guys, Mike with Iceberg Gaming here with episode number 20 of the Noob Gold Challenge, your step-by-step -step guide to gold making on a new server. I'm going to give you guys a quick pup date before we get started. I'll get, I'll keep it brief, brief because I know you guys are here for gold and not for puppies. Here's a picture of the little guy. As of yesterday, he is nine weeks old. He's up from about seven pounds to about 10 pounds. He's, uh, he's learned his name. I've named him Joey. He's pretty good at sit and he's learning down and come so he's doing pretty good as you guys can imagine i have had my hands full so i have not done a ton of playing i played zero last week and this week i've pretty much only been doing hollow zen but i've still got a good week in store for you so let's get into it first up we've got the alt situation uh hollow zen is a fantastic once again a fast fantastic hol holiday for leveling alts Pretty much all of them are. We've got uh, our main four, our main three alts have leveled a little bit. Our next four, uh, we've got a 43, a 40, 36, and 32. So those are all up a few levels each. Our current total gold is 1,467,243. And we have 330 post auctions worth a total of about 2.7 million gold. We have 214 sold auctions. The first 100 is coming in at 135,000 gold. As you can see right away, most of that gold is coming from Hollow Zen pet sales. I'll be doing videos about how to make gold on Hollow Zen coming up. Uh, I'm sorry, I, you guys know I have not had time, but I will get to it as soon as possible. Hopefully this weekend, uh, possibly early next week. So anyways, we've also got some uh, alchemy flipping in here. Um, so sinister squashlings you want to avoid for buying with your um, Hollow's End treats. You get them from killing the, hollow, uh, the, uh, the boss. So if you're trying to get gold, don't buy this. Just um, focus on the other ones. As you can see here, I've got Naxi has sold. Uh, I'll go over in another v video which ones I recommend you get, but obviously you want to get Naxi, as you can see here. And let's see what else we've got here. As your Wind Seeker is from our usual Terrence of Endless Spring Farm. And we've got some uh, just random materials in here, nothing too special. Some more really cheap Sinister Squashlings. As you can see, I have a ton of them, and they're going for nothing, but they are selling, so might as well list them while you can. Oh, someone is uh, blocking me out here. All right, sorry about that. And back into it, we've got a bunch more materials. Gold thorn from our gold thorn farm. Um, Jack-o'-lanterns, these, these sell. Um, the price has been dropping steadily as the event is going on, but make sure you're listing those while you can. They do sell. And what else we got here? Um, a nice golden Sansim sale. And then Peerless Leggings of the Aura. Aurora, this is a huge transmog sale coming in at almost 19,000 gold. So this one, I believe, is from our Silithus Hyperspawn Solo Farm. Check that out on the channel. As always, every farm that I mention will be linked in the description, a pinned comment, and the ones of note will appear in the top right of the screen. Moving right along. Just some more random materials. Pint size pink pachyderm. This is from Brewfest. We've still got a bunch of those to sell. The price has is not risen on that yet. I would hold on to them if you have them for later in the year. Uh, Spectral Grog. You're going to pick that up from the Hollows End event. I will be doing a video on that as well. But a very nice sale of those there. More jack-o'-lanterns and our usual elixir of giant growth here. Someone mentioned to me that they think these sell for RP purposes. So that could be the case, uh, some blind weed from our blind weave weed farm. Um, more elixirs of giant growth, and then a bunch of other random materials. A uh, couple of mechanical Pandarian dragonlings. I made these from just leveling up my uh, engineering. Uh, some fell hide. Very nice sale there. Another Ghost Iron Dragonling is also from Leveling Up uh, Engineering. And a bunch of Fell Iron from our Fell Iron Ore farm. That's going to take care of the first hundred, so we'll go ahead and open this up. And that put us well over the 1.5 million mark, so that is an excellent milestone. 
Now let's take a look at the second hundred of our sales here. Uh, anything of note in here? Primal Fire from our Primal Fire Farm. Cobalt Ore from our Cobalt Ore Farm. I uh, got another transmog sale here. That is a world drop transmog item, so it could have dropped in any of our different farms. Mechanical Scorpide is Scorpid is from engineering in Warlords of Draenor, just from our garrison. And some titanium ore from our winter grass farm that we do pretty much every week. Uh Tankard of Terror from Brewfest once again. I have a bunch more of those to sell. The pattern will probably go up as the year goes on. A nice pattern there. Uh, some enchanting materials, bunch of enchanting materials. And Nether Bloom from our Nether Bloom farm. Terrible Turnip is a pet sale. And then a few bag flips in here from my bag flipping farm. And then here is another very nice transmog sale. Peerless Armor of the Aurora for 2.2 thousand gold. This is also from our Silithus farm, and it looks a little something like this. And we've got another alchemy flip in here. Uh, some Jorgamar, Jorm Ungar scales from my Jorm Ungar farm that is posted on the channel. A bunch more enchanting materials here. And an enchanting flip in there, or two of them in here. Sold some enchants, more alchemy flipping and enchanting materials. Another enchanting flip there. And another very nice transmog item here, Iron Leg Guards of the Aurora, is also from our Solithus farm. After that, we've got another bag flip and some cooking with this feast, a bunch of random materials, some pyrite, a stout A elemental, the beer monster from Brewfest, uh, another enchanting flip, and then a Borean leather, very nice sale from our uh, Wrath of the Lich King dragon farm. And then Voltile Fire from our Volt Voltile Fire Farm. And then some more cooking food as well. So that wraps up the next 100. Let's go ahead and open it up. And we have 16 more sales to get through, giving us another 20,000 gold. So here's some enchanting materials, some fell hide uh, from our skinning one of our skinning farms. That is actually from our Karazhan skinning farm. And some Savage Leather here. That is the Cataclysm Leather, which we get from uh, Baby Crocs. Baby Crocs. Do, 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 baby Crocs. And from our Molten Core. Not Molten Core. Firelands. Sorry about that. Had a little mind, mind fart there. Anyways, we had a very nice sale from that. And then we have another Enchanting Flip. And some Voltile Air from our Voltile Air Farm. Spirit of Harmony, uh, we can get either from our Tiller's Farm or from our Heart of Fear Raw Gold Farm. And then we have a bunch more Mechanical Dragonling sales. That is our Engineering Crafting level up once again. And then an Elec Plushie from our Tailor. And a Spirit of Spring is also from the Terrence of Endless Spring. So that wraps up all our sales. Let's go ahead and open it up and we'll get our grand total. Our grand total this week is 195.7 thousand gold, giving us a total gold on hand for this character of 1,650,000, and a total on all of our characters on this realm of 1,663,000 gold. That is going to wrap up this week's video. I really appreciate all you guys' support and uh, patience while I've been away on uh, pup eternity. <laughs> But anyways, uh, I thank you guys so much. As you got some of you guys know, we hit a thousand subscribers last week, and I am super pumped about that. Super grateful to all of you, and I'm looking forward to getting back to making great content for you guys once this little guy is a little more settled in. He's currently taking a nap right now. So you guys have a great week. We'll see you soon.